Sachin Kulkarni is a student of mechanical engineering in Mumbai who aspires to become a filmmaker. His friend introduces him to cinematographer Anya. With Anya's help, Sachin becomes an assistant to director. Sachin's family, who are Marathi Brahmins, rent Jesse Theke Kuttu's house. Jesse is from a conservative Malayali Syrian Catholic Nasrani family from Alapuza, Kerala, that lives upstairs. Sachin falls in love with Jesse the moment he meets her. Sachin tries to interact with Jesse, who is afraid of speaking to men around her strict father, and ends up angering Jesse, unable to hide his feelings for her any longer. Sachin confesses his love for her, to which she does not respond. A few days later, Sachin learns from his sister that Jesse has gone to Kerala to visit her grandmother. He, along with Anya, ends up in Kerala to look for her. After several days, he finds her, apologizes and she introduces him to her family in Kerala as her classmate. Jesse denies she has any feelings for him but agrees to be his friend. On the train journey back home, however, the two get closer and share a passionate kiss. Sachin is convinced Jesse loves him. The two meet several times and Jesse begins to admit that she also likes Sachin. But wants to refrain from any problems because she knows her father wouldn't give her hand in marriage to a Hindu. Consequently, due to various misunderstandings between Jesse's brother and Sachin, her parents learn of their supposed affair. They fix a match and schedule her wedding. The day arrives and midway through the ceremony, Jesse refuses to marry the groom, displeasing everyone in her family. Sachin, who had, without anyone's knowledge, come to Kerala to witness the wedding is ecstatic and secretly visits Jesse at her home. It is then that Jesse admits she has indeed fallen in love with him. Sachin and Jesse continue to meet each other without the knowledge of their parents. Uddharan. At this point of time, Sachin goes to Goa on a 40-day shoot, where he gets busy. Meanwhile, the topic of Jesse's marriage comes up again at her home when the man whom she refused to marry earlier pays them a visit. Panicking, Jesse calls Sachin and tells him that she wants to elope with him. Sachin who is traveling through less than ideal places, tells Jesse to stay in Mumbai for now, and that soon he would be back and they can discuss. Jesse stops taking Sachin's calls and so he goes back one night to check on Jesse. He learns that Jesse has decided to break up, as the relationship is not peaceful due to her parents' disapproval. She says she has agreed to marry a boy of her parents' choice. When Sachin pleads her not to do it, she tells him that a time had come when she was willing to elope. But the moment was gone. She doesn't want Sachin to wait for her, as he has his dreams to fulfill. Sachin later learns that she is married and settled abroad. Two years later, Sachin meets Samantha. She falls in love with him but is rejected by Sachin who hasn't yet gotten over Jesse. He then comes up with a script for his first film, which happens to be his very own love story. He calls upon an actor as the film's protagonist. Samantha is the female lead and Anya is the film's cinematographer. And the film is eventually titled Jesse. While shooting for the film in Taj Mahal, he sees Jesse and she comes to speak with him. She admits that she is not married and is still in love with him. And he too says she is still in his heart. Sachin proposes yet again and they get married the same day. This is actually revealed to be the climax in Sachin's film which Sachin and Jesse in real life are watching together in the theater. After the film ends, Jesse praises Sachin for his efforts and the latter agrees to drop her home. Implying that they have reunited.